Greetings. Elder Black right here. Today's video is going to be talking about the corporation of black power. The corporation of black power. You don't hear that word too much no more, black power. But what does uh, cooperation mean? Those, cooperation means uh, to work together for one or two in individuals to work together or many individuals to do and work together and we got black power let me give you an example even though I know that these people probably don't You know, they probably don't, uh, con they're probably not conscious of uh, that they're working to, you know, the corporation of black power. They're not conscious of that term. You know, they don't realize it because each of them probably doing their own thing. But let me show you what I'm talking about. This here is a Christian uh, magazine called events and says for Christians and uh, the seven day of Venice they deliver it at the seven day of Venice church and it says uh, W H P R you know and then it's got all the uh, radio personalities that's involved or is on air at WHPR. WHPR is owned by a brother by the name of Roger J. Watkins. Now, you got the Son of Man, you got Sami Muhammad, you got Levi Kareem, you got Reverend Holly. Now, this is how we've been rolling in Detroit for a long time, though. Before, even before uh, Brother uh, Watkins uh, purchased WHPR uh, radio station in Highland Park, he's located at uh, 16 Victor. And uh, I can't get him where I'm at. You know, I'm in the woods. I can't get him, uh, but uh, for y'all you brothers that's in Detroit, uh, telephone number is 313-868-6612. What he's doing is, he's been doing this for a long time. He's been selling airtime for those who want to be on radio, but he's, he's uh, on the internet now also. So he got the internet covered, he got the television, because he's on television too. And he has uh, radio down. So, plus he got a little place where you could actually make movies. And actually give, uh, he got a little restaurant inside his, his studio. And uh, so we've been, you know, dealing with this brother for a long time. Malik Shabazz for the New Gabi movement, movement and the uh, Black Panthers, New Black Panthers. He used to be there. I haven't heard from that brother in a minute, but they haven't heard from me. Uh, so if you haven't heard from me, I'm right here with my family. I made a song called that, Chilling With My Family. I'm on 
reintroduce it to the uh, airwaves or the internet. But cooperation is a uh, A thing where we very seldom cooperate with each other. Now, we voluntarily cooperate with our oppressor more than we do with each other. Yeah, we don't mind working with him. You know. See, these all these brothers and sisters are not aware, they're not conscious that they're, they're in cooperation with each other. You know, each of them is doing their thing on his station, but his station is the catalyst. His radio and TV station is the catalyst for these brothers to cooperate with each other, even though they probably don't look at it like that. But all that cash flow is centered in his uh, radio and television station, you know. And all of them advertise their they products or someone, some of the other brothers and sisters product on his radio station. And uh, I'll let you know later on in another video how I used to, I was one of the first brothers who started uh, talk, talk radio on his station and made it very uh, at very uh, fluid you know on his station but I'm not talking about myself I'm talking about cooperation for black power and this is going to be the subject matter for maybe three or four videos this is one right here the last video I was talking about think tanks right that's the cornerstone for cooperation for black power. See, we we subconsciously we cooperating with our oppressor. The, the Caucasian, the ones who control the system and had us in presence of war and slave we were enslaved by him. He drops dope he creates a stressful environment and to relieve that stress we turn to corruption all types of corruption and he drops drugs and guns in our neighborhood and then he also pays off uh, certain individuals provocateurs as they call them to start conflict in the neighborhood and then you got uh, corrupt policemen that controls a particular uh, neighborhood or a particular uh, precinct uh, by cooperating with the drug lords for that area and this is how they're heading to uh, a gunless and cashless society. And see, you know, because they look 10, 20 years down the road, but we still dealing with yesterday. We don't, we don't, we don't think, we don't have no think tanks to plan ahead and use different kind of strategies. We're too busy and fighting with one another to get that top position, see. And so, because we're trying to get closer to the white man, you know, we don't realize it. It's a sub subliminal or subconscious type effort that we're putting into this. Because uh, this is why we have less black business ownership. Uh, and this is why we always be trapped into gentrification because we don't know how to dominate and control our own neighborhoods but the Caucasian does it 
So on the next <clears throat> video, we're going to explore the subject of uh, cooperation for black power. And we're going to use think tanks. So, one last thing I want to say before we get to the next video is that our people still thinking on the elementary type level but we ain't gotta we ain't gotta think like that we ain't gotta be so cooperative with our enemy we too cooperative with our enemy we gotta uh, really be conscious of being cooperative him cooperative with him because he can't work with it won't work without our cooperation what he doing won't work without our cooperation this is black light we're gonna talk about it stay tuned see you on the other side power peace and power